Okay, welcome back. Today we're going to look at an exam style question. Um, hopefully you've got the same replit question open up that I have. This is task five and I've called it the uh, dose algorithm. Uh, this is an exam question from a few years ago. Uh, so it's a really important one to try and get right. Okay, when you're confronted with something like this, have a look at it, give yourself time to understand exactly what it's asking for. Okay, so here is the uh, flow chart. I'll be zooming out of that in a moment, so uh, you'll want to have it open for yourself when you're looking at this. Okay. So what does it do? Well, it works out the dose uh, based on whether you're male or female and uh, your age and whether if, if you're a female, if you're pregnant or not. Okay. It asks for the age, asks for the gender. Then it's got a decision here and a decision here. And based on all that, it works out what the dose is. And there's a third decision there. Okay, so I'm going to go through this bit by bit and start programming it out. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get the user input. Okay, so uh, get user input. And uh, I'm going to get the age, and that will be an integer, so I'll cast it straight away. And then I'm going to get the gender. And that will be a string, so I'm just going to use the input command there. Okay, so I've got the uh, first two bits of data from the user. The next thing it says is, is the age less than 20? And if it is, then it says dose is equal to age times 0.1. Okay, so an if statement, if the age is less than 20, colon, then dose will be equal to age times 0.1. That will make it into a float. That will make dose into a float. Um, otherwise, or else, dose is equal to two. Okay. Um, so here, we've just done this bit there. It says dose is equal to two. So now we come down to the next question, which is, is the gender female? And remember, we need to use the same sort of uh, like capital F female and so on. So I'm going to go across to the code, backspace delete. Um, and so here, if gender is equal to female, And if gender is equal to female, we need to get um, whether they're pregnant or not. So I'm just going to call it pregnant. Now in the exam, this looks like it's a Boolean, but here we're programming it. So I'm just going to expect people to say yes or no. And then here it's an if statement. And this is a more complicated one. Uh, let's just have a look at this. Um, if the person is pregnant and the dose is greater than 0 0.5 then the dose is 0.5 otherwise there's no change okay so there's no um, else clause in there uh, so I'll go back across across the code now if um, pregnant is equal to yes and dose is greater than 1.5. Well, if all that's true, then the dose is equal to 1.5. Okay, we don't have to do anything other than that. The uh, the no line there goes straight down and ends. Um, if the person isn't female, so we're back at this level here, so I need to go backspace deletes, delete, delete, so go else. The dose is equal to dose. Multiplied by 0.5. So once again, it makes it into a flow. And then finally, we'll just print out the dose. And that should be it. Next thing I would do is check it. If they ask you to put some comments in, if they mention readability, then 
you put comments in where you see you see it as being appropriate. Um, I'm going to run the test straight away. There's eight tests in there, and they all work. Then I'll submit that. And that's great. Okay, um, have a go at that, and uh, best of luck. Speak to you soon. Bye.